Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, Apple has finally released iOS 14 Developer Beta 7. Now, I know a lot of you guys were hoping and waiting for this software to drop, and in this video, here it is. Apple has just released it. I'm going to go over some of the latest details and changes within iOS 14 Developer Beta 7. Now, this software comes in a few days late, if you will. Apple was on a weekly release cycle. This one is a week and two days later. Now, this could be due to iOS 13.7 dropping this week on Tuesday, September the 1st. So, Apple might have pushed back this beta, where Apple did push back this beta a few days later. But it looks like Apple will continue on a weekly release cycle and there's one thing that apple may be delaying which i'm sort of not too happy about and we'll get to some of those details here before the end of the video but first let's take a look at some of the latest changes in ios 14 and developer beta 7 now this build came in at approximately 500 megabytes depending on your device this one here the iphone 11 from beta 6 to beta 7 to 400 and 74 megabytes and let's go ahead and take a look a quickly here at the bill number for the latest beta there it is still a long bill number which suggests there's still a few more betas in the pipeline before the official release 18a 5369b is going to be the latest bill number for ios 14 developer beta 7 now this one here is running beta 6 i want to have it here for comparison purposes so you guys can see what's different now there's a few things that i found so far now i've only been running this software on this device for nearly an hour and a half or so i'm pretty sure i'm going to find additional features and changes within the next 24 to 48 hours so make sure you stay tuned for my follow-up videos but let's take a look at some of the wallpapers there's some new wallpapers in this beta so let's go here to some of the latest wallpapers and let me show you what's new so take a look here we have the live wallpapers as you can see here on both devices now the wallpaper uh, categories you can see right away that it is slightly larger in this beta than it was on previous betas and not only that but these wallpapers here now have a dark theme to them as well so if we select one of these here and we're running the dark mode you get the dark background but if we go back and remove the dark mode you see now that it goes back to the color that it pertains to so dark mode new wallpapers available here on iphone 11 so that's something that's definitely new the wallpapers uh how they look how they're organized and the size of the wallpapers as well as some of those new dark mode wallpapers now also there's something slightly new here within the app library feature the new feature that apple added to organize your applications there's more categories things look a lot cleaner a lot nicer and they run a lot smoother so you can see there are way more categories to organize your applications on the latest beta as well but there's one feature that apple is did you see that there was a bug the dark mode dock all of a sudden wow that just happened did not expect that to happen there's a dark theme to the actual dock i did not expect this to happen guys it looks like apple might be bringing the dark dock to the iphone wow that is a surprise did not expect that to happen but there you guys have it it happened right on film and i'm happy that it did because I did not expect that to happen, but that looks really cool actually. But anyway, let's get back to the video, and one of the features that Apple is delaying, which I'm not so happy about, is the new tracking feature. And it is a feature that allows you to know when apps are tracking you, and Facebook is complaining because this feature is hurting their business. So Facebook is asking Apple to delay uh, the enforcement of this feature for developers until everyone adapts, to the new feature now facebook just doesn't want to be tracked i really do not like the facebook platform they've always been sketchy and now they're uh, kind of going at apple so apple will be adding the feature to ios 14 but not really enforcing it until 2021 which i'm a bit upset about hopefully apple doesn't cave into pressure and continues with uh, the tracking feature active fully on the latest ios 14 once it is released to the general public hopefully that happens but there you guys have it just a quick update we just saw a glitch of a dark dock there it is it went back to normal and some of the latest changes again guys stay tuned for my 24 to 48 hour follow-up make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't already for some of my latest videos thank you for watching have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace